Thank you, Argus. I think uh, thanks the organizer for inviting me and my panel. This is a very interesting uh, session, uh, technology for the future in the healthcare. I think uh, before you think about technology, what is happening in the West, one thing which has taught us everything is COVID. And if you remember, when COVID happened, only two things worked. If your immunity is strong, that means if you have learned everything from your grandmother and grandfather and nannies, your immunity is strong, you survived. Or if you took vaccine, the drug, the remdesivir, nothing worked. So two things are important your traditional thing as well as your modern thing. We have been talking about traditional medicine, we are talking about modern medicine. I think that's where the technology comes. The technology means, it doesn't mean that you only take about transplantation, surgery and things like that. But you need to understand that the technology which we develop in our country, in fact, I can go on. I worked in an immunology institute, I can tell you, immunology originated from Mahabharata and Ramayana. I can go beyond that. Even if you read Charak, he has explained what is immunology. So in this context, I think it is a very really interesting time so that you can take both traditional as well as the modern medicine. And I am happy that most of my colleagues sitting here are doctors and are engineers. But let me tell you about, little bit about, uh, I mean, people talk more about uh, the traditional medicine and IUs, which is very much part of our thing. But let me tell you what new technology coming in future. I, I don't know, it, it may not, it may take time to come from, come to Odisha, but worldwide things have changed. It is now the age of point of care diagnosis, point of care hospital and point of care doctor. You don't have to go to anybody to do your testing, that's point of care diagnosis. In fact, now, if you go to big hospital, the cell therapy product is manufactured in the hospital, that's point of care manufacturing. And the point of care, morning somebody was telling there is no doctor, the days are not far, you will have a hologram of your favorite pediatrician, you don't have to go to him, you will see him in the screen, with the artificial intelligence, you talk to him, he has all your data, all your vitals, you consult him in your home. No need to go to doctor. We are talking, koi aata nahi, koi reta nahi. those days are over. In fact, in future, AI-based technology will be that. You will see your doctor in your home, in your screen. And with animation, you can talk to him, with all the vitals available in his phone, and things have developed. But Never forget the old method of medicine which we follow in our traditional system. Because morning may, if you remember, uh, Dr. Bishoy told one thing, swastha. Swastha means you first understand yourself. That means you understand your immunity. If you are immunologically strong, nothing will happen. But that comes if you have traditional system. So all I want to say that at this point of time, you need to take both from the traditional system as well as from the technology system to provide health care to the people. With this I end and I will tell my colleagues, uh, Professor Menon, it's good that uh, in the panel we have uh, doctors, pediatricians, neonatologists, because if you see the future of a good health of a society depends if the mother is healthy and the child is healthy. And we are happy that uh, people are here from uh, uh, pediatrics background, I think they will be able to tell you. I'll go to uh, Dr. Menon. Jodi Aponoko, a mobility of Holagila, the Bama channel could like, share, or subscribe Karipaku Jama Bibulon to him.